Hello and welcome back to episode 6 of our New Zealand Miller 4A paint along and it looks like we're going to dive into a little bird called a fantail and we've got the indigo for his beautiful feathered tail that obviously fans out like a fan. The indigo is like a denim blue. It's about now I actually checked the internet to double check what colours the bird should be and realised that it's a lot duller than perhaps I imagined. It's got a beautiful shaped tail, but it's not quite as elaborate. So um, I add a few more browns and kind of tone things down, but you know, it's called artistic license. We can paint things how we maybe wish they looked. We have a similar bird at home, the blue wren, and his, his tail is blue. So I've grabbed the white and I'm just over painting some white over the dark blue while it's still wet, blending the two together. And that changes, changes it a little bit. Almost, almost makes it a, a grey colour. And now our metallic rust, which is sort of our chocolate colour that comes in here at the base of his tail. It's quite a substantial feathery bit because it's got to hold that whole fan up. Do apologise for the occasional squeal from my impatient dog. I'm trying to ignore him, so you can too. This is the pewter and letting the two blend together that little bit. The pewter, which comes out a nice, you know, grey, silvery grey colour. So you can see how I use the tip of the brush to get into the pointy bit of the feathers and then drag it back from there. And then you get a nice shape. I've given him a sunset gold chest. Just noticed a little bit there that wasn't quite making sense, so I've attached that feather to his body. Now the background colour, this is Halo Violet Gold. It's a strange colour. In the jar it looks mauve, and when you paint it it comes out mauvey, pinky, it's mushroom. <laughs> yeah, and it's one of those colours that depending on how the light is hitting it, it'll change as to how it reflects as well. Now, painting fairly carefully in and around this grevillea type plant. This is a little bit tricky, finding the spaces. And there you go, I've just painted over that little bit of blue that wasn't in the right spot. And that's the great thing about these paints, they'll just paint over the top. So the only time that it doesn't work to paint over the top is let's say I wanted to have a piece of fabric return back to being the black that it started out. Well, painting black on top of the black fabric, it won't ever look 
the same. So that's about the only time where painting over something doesn't really work. But if in doubt, I'd add another leaf or something, you know. That's the beauty of painting birds and foliage and leaves and flowers and things. You can always add another leaf. If in doubt, add a leaf. <laughs> so you can see the fishtail and the background there is pretty similar colours. So the fact that I left that black gap means that we can differentiate uh, one area from the other. Teeny bit required there in between his legs and in amongst those leaves. And just check the pattern and you'll notice that circle for the fantail bird does go right out in amongst that grevillea. So you've got to take the background colour right out to the edge of that circle. If you can't really work it out where to paint, uh, if you wait till you've done the grevillea, the, the flowers, then you'll see which parts are the background to fill in. It might make it easier for you that way. Some little tricky bits here. Just getting a little bit of paint down those narrow channels just to really show off his fan. And making sure the tip of each tail feather is quite rounded. Doesn't take much paint just to give that little hint. There we go. I can see some little patches up there in between the leaves. So as I said, it might be easier for you to wait till you've painted the leaves to then go back and find those little areas. Oh, the beak. Don't forget the beak. I think I've used some halo violet, halo pink gold, sorry. and the pewter for his little feet. Just that little dot of white makes all the difference. Now I'm in there playing. Don't fiddle with it, Helen. There we go. That's it. We'll see you all tomorrow.